All right, guys, I've got a new kit to do an unboxing on here today. This is the 1 10th scale Zero model from the Mega Man Zero video games. Now, this isn't my first Mega Man model. I've also done the classic Mega Man, and if you're interested in it, I have an unboxing and a review on my channel. Uh, just search the videos. I got that, too. But I got this one the other day because I liked that first one, and this is one of my favorite characters from the entire Mega Man line. Like I said, this is from the Mega Man Zero games uh, for Game Boy Advance, but were also re-released on the DS, and if you like Mega Man games but you haven't played those, you need to get on that because these are great games. They're definitely some of my favorites from the series. And like I said, this is one of my favorite characters from the series, so I couldn't turn down this model. I actually didn't realize they made a model kit of this until just the other day when I promptly bought it on Amazon for a pretty good price, actually. It was only $25 on there, so it was like the price of a high-grade kit, and in my opinion, I got it even better than that, so I couldn't pass it up. In the box here, we see what the model's going to look like, painted up and stuff, and... Uh, over here are some of the other Mega Man models. The only ones that have been released is Mega Man, Roll, and Proto Man. And uh, hopefully we get more of them. It would definitely be great to see Zero from the X series or even Mega Man from the X series. You know, I'm surprised we actually haven't gotten that yet. I really thought we would have thought that would, would, would have been one of the first to get, but I'd also like to see a continuation of the Mega Man Zero line. There's a lot of great designs in it that they could do. Uh, Leviathan, Harpuya, even some of the boss designs. To be honest, I think Mega Man, in general, the franchise is such a great area to make model kits of like this. I don't think Kotobuki would pass it up, but who knows? I can only hope, I guess. All right, first up... We have uh, some dark blue parts. They're showing up a little black in the camera, but it's dark blue, mostly for the head, uh, legs, hands. I think there's three or four pairs of hands on here. I'm not sure. I should have counted, but there's a pretty decent amount. There's a couple pre-painted parts on here. Right here, you can see the green shining for the Z uh, in the middle of his palm. This is for the zero knuckle, I believe it's called. And uh, they went ahead and pre-painted that for you, as well as the thumb for that hand. You'll see the uh, fingers here in a little bit. They're in a separate bag. So those are two pre-painted parts. So if you don't paint your kits or anything, then that's a nice little touch by Kotobukiya. On the other side here, we have Zero's hair. Uh, there are a few other things for, like, the arms and stuff, but most of it's the hair. And it's actually really nice looking. Very nicely molded. Uh... I don't think there necessarily needed to be so much part separation as there is, but it still will look nice once it's put together, and it will be a whole lot of fun to paint, so I'm looking forward to that. Next up, we have another runner of these dark blue parts, mostly for the feet and the joints, things like that. It's a duplicate runner right there. You get two of them. Now we have some white parts for the gun and uh, beam saber blade or beam saber handles, things like that, the waist area few white parts there. Here's a bag of three sets of polycaps. Let's see here. Now we have some red parts for the chest area, uh, the helmet part, the red parts on the helmet we have there. And here is one last runner of dark blue, but most of this is internal joints. Like this here, this is the joints for the arms, head, and waist. And it just goes right inside his body. All right, we have two duplicate runners of red here. These are pretty much the last real parts runners of the kit. Uh, mostly for arms, things like that. It's a nice red color for you guys who are building out of the box. All right, next we have one of the most impressive beam effect parts I have seen in my experience of... Uh, building models you know i saw this in the pictures and i thought it's going to be a flimsy you know just kind of crappy effect part and i wouldn't be impressed with it but i tell you what this thing is solid it is thick it's nicely shaped grooved it, it's like thin in the corners and sharp and then it comes out a little bit just not a lot but just subtle enough to make it look really really nice and it's thick sturdy i tell you what uh I'm impressed by this thing. It's really nice quality. Okay, here we have uh, six sets of eyes for Zero. Just kind of different positions and whatnot. 
And here is the top of the hand, oops, to the uh, zero knuckle. Like I said, this is the uh, parts that are pre-painted with the white. And here we have one last bag with two faces for zero and like angry shouting kind of thing and then just with mouth closed. Here is a clear green piece for his helmet and then a few little just joint kind of things. All right, here is the manual. Some nice pictures of the painted kitten here and some concept artwork for the uh, from the video games. Uh, there's a picture of him in graphics from the video games. So it's cool. Uh, and you get one last thing here that's some water slide decals for more eyes and eyebrows. I won't be using these, but for any of you guys who want to customize even farther, it's great stuff. So, uh, for the most part, I think this is an incredible kit. Uh, one thing that I, w my only criticism, is, criticism of it would be the weapon selection. Like I said, you get the gun, you get the Z Saber, and you get the Zero Knuckle right here. But there are other weapons he has had. Uh, two other ones that I can think of off the top of my head that I would have much liked to seen in this. Uh, the first off is this chain whip sort of deal. I wish I had a picture of it because it's the coolest looking weapon he has and just a really awesome weapon. Uh, it's kind of like the heat rod for Epion or Tall Geese, um, but made of the energy beam kind of things. It's really nice looking, but I understand that it's not entirely practical to make in a model, I guess, because it would have been a lot of work with this clear parts and joints and stuff. So for a model of this size, I get it wouldn't be practical. But I really would have liked them to see them make uh, his other weapon, which uses these same beam saber blades, but has the Z saber go down along his arm. And it extends a little past his hand and a little past his elbow. And it's, it's a cool thing. I No, that's, uh, I think that's the zero knuckle. I'm not sure. I thought that might be a picture of him using it. But uh, it's cool because he holds the beam saber and then hits somebody. And it just hits him with the blade along with his fist, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, it's a nice weapon, though, that I think they could have included with this. But they didn't. I wish they would have. But that's okay. Uh, all in all, this is a really nice kit. I'm really impressed with the kit. And uh, for 25 bucks, I think if you have the slightest interest in this, you should pick it up. I can't wait to build it. I'm really excited about it. And I think it's a great deal, to be honest. So, that'll be all, guys. I hope you liked the unboxing video. I hope you found it helpful or informative. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.